Hi, my name is Nicole Wigman. Today I'm gonna to give you a very detailed demonstration of how to use the extra wide, large, motorized drum carter by Brother Drum Carters. I am an off-grid alpaca farmer. I raise over 60 alpacas off-grid in Northern Arizona, and I'm also raising some sheep. I've got a couple of little bottle lambs inside the house with me right now, so you will probably hear them pitter-pattering across the floor and making all of their cute little sounds throughout this video, so don't let that distract you. Try to stay present with me and the drum carter. The year before last, my husband and I harvested 200 pounds of alpaca fiber. Last year, we harvested 300 pounds of alpaca fiber. So we have an abundance of alpaca fiber and I hand process it all myself sustainably. And I reached out to Brother Drum Carters because I was interested in getting a motorized drum carter to expedite my process. So the number one thing that I really loved about this experience was that I was able to call and speak directly to the owner and the manufacturer, it's one and the same, right here in Oregon in the United States. He was able to answer all of my questions. I'm speaking about Gabriel and um, him and Grace together actually helped me select which drum carter was best for our farm. So that's how we got this drum carter. On my journey as a fiber artist, I first learned how to hand spin alpaca fiber into yarn. This was something that my alpaca mentor actually taught me when she passed down to me one of her Luet spinning wheels. That was a really special gift and that was incredible knowledge that will be with me forever. However, what happened next was I actually learned how to make felt and felt making set my heart on fire. I made this hat, I made these boots, I made all of these wall hangings. So what felt making offers the artist is infinite creative potential. You can make anything you want from felt. It's really incredible. And what this brother drum carter has done for me as a felt maker is it has supported my process. It's made me more efficient and it's really streamlined um, how I'm able to produce the items that I make because I now make the fattest bats ever on this drum carter. The bats come out to be about 18 by 39 inches. Now, why this is important to me is because I'm a full-time farmer. I have a ton of responsibilities on our farm. Like I mentioned, we are off grid and nothing is easy out here. Everything takes time and energy, both mentally and physically. And my main role is managing herd health and taking care of the babies, the pregnant mamas, and the juveniles. I'm an artist second, right? So I have to prioritize the animal care. In today's video, we're first gonna talk about the technical aspects of the drum carter. Then we're gonna card some alpaca fiber and remove that bat, and I'll let you get a close look at it. Be sure to subscribe and watch this video all the way through because there is nothing more satisfying than carding soft, luxurious alpaca fiber on this Brother Drum Carter. I promise you that. Inside the box was this packet of information. You've got information on the different carters that Brother makes, you've got information on their mill equipment, and then you've also got the owner's manual. This owner's manual will tell you everything you need to know about how to use your Brother Drum Carter. However, you actually don't need to do anything to the carter to be able to use it. It's ready to use straight out of the box. You just need to plug it in. My brother drum carter came with these tools. I've got two brushes, a small one and a big one, and also this all tool for removing the bats from the drum. There is this packer brush right here that allows the bats to be not only wide, but also thick. You've got two drums and each drum has its own independent motor. The smaller drum is called the liquor in drum and it's intended to run at a much slower speed so that you can just slowly feed the fiber in and it passes it to the main drum. The main drum is intended to always run at full speed, which is about 40 rotations per minute. So the first thing I do is I turn on the lower drum, the liquor in drum, nice and slow, and then I turn on the main drum all the way up to high. There is also a reverse function, but you've got to make sure to lift up the packer brush first and then flip it to reverse. 
And this is how I actually clean the drum, which I will demonstrate at the end of the video. This piece right here is called the T-pin. It's probably the most important technical element when it comes to being able to use your brother drum carter. In order to be able to remove your freshly carded bat, you want this large drum to be able to spin freely. And the only way to do that is to remove this T-pin. The T-pin keeps that drum locked into space. In order to remove the T-pin, this metal strip needs to be on the top of the drum. After you remove the pin, this drum can spin freely and you can go ahead and remove your bat. Now I'll demonstrate this at the end of the process today. Here is some raw alpaca fiber. This is what we're gonna card today on the drum carter. We've got some brown, beige, a medium silver gray, as well as a dark silver gray. There are actually 22 different natural colors of alpaca, and we've got all of them on our farm. So let's start carding. I'm gonna turn on the liquor end drum, just at a really low speed, and then the swift drum all the way up. Grab some fiber here. And I'm just gonna feed it right onto the top drum. This is my preferred method of doing it. I always card my bats twice. So the first time I feed the fiber through, I put it directly on top of the main drum. The second time after I've got a formed bat, I slowly feed it through this liquor drum. So you can do either way. It might depend on the type of art that you're producing. If you're really into hand spinning, you might want a much smoother bat. So you might feed it through the liquor end drum, you know, multiple times. I do one pass on top and then the second pass underneath, and you'll see that today as well. And remember, this is raw fiber straight from the animal. <laughs> I just picked it out, got a lot of the debris out, shook the dust out. When you're wet felting, you don't need to wash the fiber because the felting process itself actually cleans the fiber. Usually though, I do clean the fiber first. I do wash it because it does make the felt come out a little bit nicer in the end. If you have fiber that is still full of a lot of debris, you might end up with some thin spots in your felt. I like to use the small brush occasionally to help smooth out the fiber during the carding process.
When I'm ready to remove the bat, I slowly decrease speed on the carter until the metal strip and T-pin is facing up and I stop it there. I remove the T-pin, lift the packer brush, and I grab the awl tool to remove the bat. Sliding the awl tool along the metal strip to gently lift the fiber and start the removal process. I have found that it's hardest to remove the fiber when it has only gone through the carter just once. The second time or multiple times that it goes through the carter, it starts coming off of the drum much easier. Here is the beautiful bat of alpaca fiber after just one pass through the brother drum carter. Now we're gonna do it a second time through the lower drum called the liquor drum. To recap what I covered earlier, the main drum, the large drum, should always run at high speed, while the lower drum, the liquor and drum, should be ran at a much slower speed possibly a five to one ratio, allowing that lower drum to just gently pull the fiber in and pass it to the main drum, creating a nice smooth bat. Repeating the same process now a second time to remove the bat from the drum carter. You can tell it comes off much easier this time and I leave way less fiber behind on the drum. To clean the main drum, I use the large brush tool while running the drum on high in reverse, pulling the fiber from the brush tool as needed. To clean the lower drum, I use the awl tool, sliding it into the fiber and breaking some loose so that I can pull it out with my hand. Then I turn the drum very, very slowly to get another section of fiber and pull it out either with my hand or using the awl tool again. I continue this until I have removed all of the fiber from the lower drum. Here's our beautiful fat bat after two passes on the Brother Drum Carter. It's soft, it's smooth, it's beautiful. Be sure to subscribe and watch my next video on how to make a piece of felt. Thank you.